What's going on guys? Welcome back to Come On Keeping It Real. I got my sandals on. I'm down here by the creek. This is one of my favorite, favorite places on the property. Is this little island right here with the little waterfall behind me. I don't know if it's going to be too loud for this video. I figured I'd set up here, check it out, and then I'll play it back and see if it works. But I wanted you guys to experience this area with me because it's gorgeous. It is uh, actually Monday night after I got off work today. It was a long, long, busy day. And uh, I actually just dropped my phone on one of these rocks that I'm recording with right now and busted my screen. So it's ending not so great. But hey, if that's the worst thing that happens today, I guess I'll be all right. But uh, I'll have to go get that fixed tomorrow though because the whole side is flickering and that's my main phone. I actually have another phone here that I use for YouTube and uh, I can get by with that. But the problem is, is all my contacts and stuff is in that phone. So it is what it is. But like I was telling y'all uh, yesterday in the video, because this will be Tuesday for you guys, um, I was going to start actually writing down the questions. Well, I decided to take pictures of them instead. And I want to go ahead and answer some of them for you guys today. We're going to start with uh, OMG A Newbie. It says, why not leave the stumps where the trees are close together and use them for the base of a bench or something like that? I might do that in other places, but right there where it's at, I want the yard as clear as possible so I can get the tractor in there to tiller, level out, and then I'm going to plant grass. And I plan on planting fruit trees around the property. Something that doesn't get so tall that it'll get in the way of the Starlink or jeopardize the cabin in a bad storm. But yet still add some color and some shade to the area. That's kind of why I got those crepe myrtles to go by the uh, fire pit area. Because they get anywhere from 10 to 15 foot tall, the type that I got. Which is not as tall as the cabin, so the Starlink would be good. And if it was to blow over, it's not even going to reach the cabin. So that's my thought process there. Out in the woods when I'm clearing out land for the mountain views and stuff, I might leave some of them close together for like a hammock or a bench or maybe even a bench and a table or something, depending on the positions of them. Just not right around the house. I will take some of the stumps. And like I said in one of my earlier videos, I will be making some tables and benches and stuff like that out of the stumps herself. They just won't still be in the ground. All right, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. This one's from Daily. Um, why don't you get Rooster to come out and cut into the rock beneath and build the road up? Rooster is an amazing operator, and he is very, very skilled at what he does, and I will never be that good at road work. The problem is, is Rooster is expensive. Um, anytime you're dealing with big heavy equipment like that where you got to have a traco, a dozer, a dump truck I mean we're, we're talking about a lot of money and uh, I don't have the money to just put out that much cash at one time for the road so I'm going to have to do it kind of slowly as I go so that's why I would love if I had the money to just pay Rooster to come out and fix this whole road and me be done with it and know that it's done right that'd be amazing but i have to renovate that cabin i got a bridge i need to deal with i got a lot of stuff i got to deal with so don't really have the money so i hope that answers the question uh let's see here crossbow outdoors he wants to know is my kayak set up for fishing yes my kayak is definitely set up for fishing um, I went and got one that's very stable and stuff that I can stand up in has rod holders and stuff like that It has the tracks up front so I can mount some other uh, Attachments and stuff to it, which I do plan on doing but yeah, absolutely. I can't have a kayak. That's not good for fishing now. Come on Good question though uh, What is that uh, Deborah how long is your driveway or uh, how long is your driveway? My driveway is about a quarter of a mile long. Um, it's pretty far on back here, quite a bit. 
Uh, why did you go for rock and not crushed concrete? Scott wants to know, why did I go for rock and not crushed concrete? Well, for one, in my area, we don't have crushed concrete. Now, in Florida, it was everywhere, and I use crushed concrete for everything. But I have not found it here, so that is why I did not go with crushed concrete. Typically, the crushed concrete is cheaper, and, uh, and once you put it down and get it smooth and it gets a little wet, it does harden. And I actually did look, but in my area, it is not available. And let's see here, Charlie wants to know, do I have a box blade for leveling the driveway? Yes, I actually have quite a few attachments for the tractor. Um, if you haven't been on my main channel, then go check it out and you can actually see them all. But I'll tell you what I have. I recently just got an auger for it and pallet forks. But when I originally got the tractor, I got the six foot box blade, the six foot bush hog, I got the backhoe attachment, the grapple with the thumb, the bucket, and yeah, and I believe that's about it. And I also bought the heavy duty trailer that you see me hauling with it. So I got quite a few attachments for it. I still want to get a, I want to get some heralds for it and a couple other things, maybe like that rake. So whenever I am doing all of this and I get done cutting up all the trees and stuff that I I want to take out for the views and the animals and stuff like that I can kind of run that rake behind it and clean up clean up my mess a little bit save on the back work a little bit all right let's see here this one is from Judy Mills who owns the pretty white horse that is always walking in my videos that is actually my neighbor um, when I come through the easement right there, that horse just pretty much runs all these properties just just wild. She kind of just hangs in this area, eating out of all the fields and stuff. And she's always in one of three places. And uh, sometimes she's up there by her barn. And then the rest of the time, she's typically in one of the fields. The video that you seen the other day where they're actually at the creek drinking water, that, that was rare. And I was so thankful that I had my camera with me at the time to kind of capture that because uh that's the first time i've seen her at the creek actually drinking so that's pretty cool oh let's see here love chairs david the area is going good and kids let's see here are you going to build a sled to put oh a shed are you going to build a shed to put the tractor in yes i do have plans to build a shed at some point i actually had a subscriber reach out to me and uh he actually builds sheds for a living and stuff and he's thinking about moving to this area and we actually talked about getting one put up on the uh mountain there so we'll see we'll see what comes of that and uh if that happens i'll be extremely extremely excited and grateful um but we'll see um, we're still talking. He's actually supposed to come visit me here in about two weeks, I believe. So looking forward to that. Looking forward to meeting him and kind of showing him the mountain and kind of go from there. So yes, a shed will be coming. I just don't know if it'll be sooner than later. Because right now, me getting the uh, cabin itself situated is kind of more important. I do have one of those white Harbor Freight kind of 20 by 10 canopies that I bought when I originally came out of here before i moved full time out here and i didn't get a chance to put it up because i was running back and forth to florida moving and all of that i got the temporary shed for like storing tools and stuff done but i didn't get that done so that's actually a project that i need to get on here real real soon but a uh, good question and uh hopefully sooner than later but a shed would be a game changer but i have quite a bit of other things that i got to purchase right now let's see here Okay, let's see here. This is a good question, too. This is from, uh, I believe, Michelle. Wondering about drainage with the landscape plastic. It's actually not landscape plastic that I put down. It's more of like a cloth, and it has little holes in it and stuff, which allows water to seep through. It just doesn't allow grass to grow up. So if you put plastic down, and you can put plastic down, 
but with plastic you will have puddling if you get a lot of rain and your rocks not like real thick then you will get water standing on top of top of your uh, rock or pavers or whatever you have so uh con or plastic i would say is good for like concrete like if you're concrete and something you know it's good to put plastic down to put that kind of vapor barrier in between the ground and the block so moisture can't soak up into the concrete that's whenever it's good but when you're doing flower beds or around trees or a driveway or something like that you really want to try to use that uh, fabric cloth and uh, allow that drainage to allow it to be able to seep through that way you can't get those standing puddles but I hope y'all like the view. I think it's beautiful here. Um, I come down here often to kind of unwind whenever I had a long day. And uh, today was a pretty decent day. It was pretty busy at work. But uh, I like busy days at work because it makes the day go by faster. But uh, I could have done without uh, dropping my phone on the rock and cracking my whole screen. I'm not going to lie to you there. Um, that's definitely uh, a bummer. <laughs> I would say the least, and I'm sure it's about to cost me about $100, $150 too, which is extremely unfortunate with as much uh, stuff as I got going on right now. But it is what it is. Um, it's still working for me to be able to make this video, and as long as I can get my contacts and stuff, I'll actually plug it into my computer and back up all my contacts and stuff just as soon as I'm done with this video. But uh, yeah. I, need, I should have had a screen protector on it, which I, honestly, I don't even know if a screen protector would have helped it. I do have a nice case on it, but a screen I don't have the actual screen protector around the glass. So at the end of the day, I know better. I work technology for a living, and as hard as I work out here in the woods and stuff like that, honestly, it's probably only a matter of time. I just honestly, since I've gotten that phone, I've been extremely busy, and now I'm paying the price. But it is what it is. I'll make it do what it do. And I'll get it fixed because I need a phone out here. It's pretty important. Luckily, I have a backup phone for emergencies and stuff like that. So it could be worse. It definitely could be worse. But I think I'm going to go ahead and head up to the house and go ahead and start cooking something for dinner. But I am glad that I got to spend this time with y'all. and show y'all one of my favorite spots here on Come On Mountain. And I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday and uh, make sure that you start the day out productive and finish it strong. Until we see each other again, guys, come on, keep it real.